guys so welcome back to my channel I finally sat down and recorded this natural everyday look for you guys and what I mean by natural is just not wearing too much makeup as I usually use so this is natural for me and this is everyday for me and I usually like to do this makeup look when I know I'm busy running errands and I know I don't have time to touch up and stuff this usually lasts me all day so if you want to learn how to get this nice, dewy, everyday look, just keep on watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for joining my channel and for watching my videos and supporting me. I appreciate you all and hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. So let's get to it. After I moisturize my face, I prime my skin and I use the NYX Angel Veil Primer. This primer is so good. I have dry skin. So like it works for me, but it's an oil-free primer, so I highly recommend for people with oily skin. It'll control the oil, plus it's like a really good primer, and it's like $16, so it's totally affordable and worth it in my opinion. Blend it in. And always make sure to wash your hands before you do your makeup. That way your hands are clean and you don't have to worry about getting anything on your face like dirt and oils and stuff throughout the day that we usually get on our hands. So I don't know if you can tell but it basically just kind of like toned and evened out my skin tone like my face looks all like one color which is good because I'm usually more pale and red right here. After I prime my skin I let that sit for a while that way it gets into my pores and into my skin and I'm just going to do my eyebrows for this step and I'm just going to zoom you guys in. So the first thing I do when I do my eyebrows, I just basically brush them the way that I want my hairs to be after I do my eyebrows. So I always go up here, sideways here, and bring it down here. Basically shade it in and just fill in my natural brow. I'm just going to take this NYX brow gel. And this is in the color Espresso. Yes, Espresso. And I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Duo Eyebrow Brush, which is like $3 and I love using it. It's totally worth it. I feel like on certain brushes you don't have to spend that much on. Just look for dupes and save some money. So basically what I do is just go under and just go upwards. So I don't shape them much, I just kind of fill it in and then blend it together. So just outline the bottom, I messed up but it's okay if you mess up when you do your brows because that's what concealer is for. And I also do the top, I just stay with the line. of my hair basically and just blend it all with the spoolie. Both of my eyebrows have product on them. I'm gonna go in with the Fit Me Concealer in Fair Claire to clean up around any edges and to help shape them and make them look cleaner. So what I do here is I just clean up the bottom just to make them look a lot cleaner and Carve it out and it literally just covers where I messed up and always make sure to blend out the concealer that you use to clean up your eyebrows that way you don't get those halo eyebrow effects if you know what I mean and the same thing for the top just clean it up and blend it out now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to go in foundation and I'm just going to use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC25 and I'm just going to take my sponge here and dip it into my hand where I have the product and just put it on my face and blend it out.
I like using a headband when I do my makeup because it holds my hair back and if you're like me, I have so many baby hairs that get in my way when I do my makeup so it just makes everything so much easier for me. So I like to take my time when I dab in my foundation just so that it sets nice and it just sits and dries out nice because I don't want to put too much product on it right away because it can mess up the foundation or blend in with the foundation. So I take my time doing this, so just have patience. Now that my foundation is on and a little more dry, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair Claire and put it on the places like under my eyes and the places I want to highlight. So like I said, I'm just gonna go under my eyes, make little triangles as you say on each side. I don't get too close to my under eye because I do have a lot of wrinkles and I don't like when my concealer sets in them. So I try to stay away from there and then just blend upwards when it's ready to blend. And just blend it all out. Okay. Now to set my concealer and my face, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to place it on the areas that I want to set. Sponge and dipping it in there, not getting that much product. And I'm just going to go under my eyes and quickly spread it all out so that it can set nicely. And I'm just placing it on the areas I want to really matte. Now to bronze up my face, I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the shade W8. And I'm just gonna use my Morphe M177 brush. This is my absolute favorite brush to bronze up my face. It fits perfectly into my cheeks and just does the job so beautifully and gives it more of like an airbrushed finish rather than just a brown smudge on my face. <laughs> I like to get my jawline and blend it down. That way if you take a picture, your double chin will be hidden and it's a good trick to hide that double chin. And we all have some. I have like 10, so they're normal. <laughs> don't be embarrassed if you have them. We all have them. Even if we say we don't, we do. So I'm just Brushing away all the extra translucent powder and using it to set the rest of my face. Okay, now we're gonna go in with blush, and if you know me, you know I love the Milani Cosmetics Luminoso Blush. It's like the perfect blush for everyone. It's a beautiful color, and it, it's just so pretty. This is what it looks like. It's like a nice, corally, peachy type of blush. I'm just going to go in with the brush that I use to dust away the translucent powder and place it on the apples of my cheeks. Now that my blush is done, I'm going to go in with highlight and what I like to do, I like to put a base for my highlight before I apply the actual highlight powder. And what I, So the base would be this and I'm using the Tarte Cosmetics um, Gleam Team Highlighter. This is the champagne one. And this side is a cream highlighter, the other side is a liquid highlighter and it comes with a little applicator so you can dot it on your face. But I always, like I said, I like to do a base. So what I do is I grab it, I slide it wherever I want my highlight to be, which is there. And as you can tell, they're already pigmented, so it makes everything so much easier. And just place it on the places of my face I want highlighted. Now that my base is blended out, I'm going to go in with powder highlight and I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow Kit and I'm going, I'm going in with this shade which is Summer. And when I apply highlights, I like using eyeshadow brushes now. I more control as to where the highlight is going. So it's just a really good trick. I like mine to be thin and not just onto my cheek, you know? So I'm just going over where I put that cream and the base just gives it more of a nice pop. 
so if the powder wears out throughout the day, the bottom base stays on. So even if your highlight isn't as bright, it'll stay on throughout the day. And you guys know I love highlight, so this, I'm gonna put highlight everywhere, like my nose, up here, basically where all the light bounces off of my face. So I'm glowing in every angle and not just one. So I turn here, glowing, turn here, glowing, turn here, glowing. So yeah. Now for lipstick, I like wearing long lasting lipsticks that last throughout the day. That way I don't have to worry about retouching and stuff, even though, you know, I will have to eventually because I will be eating and stuff. I go, I'm just going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette and I like using neutral colors around the summertime and everyday colors that can just go with any outfit that way whenever I'm done getting ready I can literally throw anything on and my face will match my look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the brush that comes into the palette and I'm going to scrape a little bit of the color that I want to wear today which is this nice brown. Grab the spatula the palette comes with, place it on here, the lip color, grab the lip pencil, which is like a nice little brush, which is awesome that, that this comes with it, it's very convenient, and just place it on my lips. And since this is an everyday tutorial, I just like using mascara. I don't really use falsies on the daily because it is time consuming and I'm always in a hurry getting my son ready, getting myself ready. So I just throw on mascara and that's literally it. And I'm just gonna use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. That's what it looks like. And this does so, so many things for you. It lifts lashes, curls lashes, and just lengthens them and it gives them more volume so as you can see I look like I have no eyelashes <laughs> because of the fact that I've used so many falsies my eyelashes went from being pretty and up to straight and down and you can never really tell this is the difference from one eyelash um, from one mascara application and no mascara at all and I'm not sure if you can tell but it did do a huge difference and that's why I love this mascara so, so much and I highly recommend it to anybody wanting to try new mascara that works amazing because this is amazing. A little extra glowier. Just go in with the same highlight that you used and same thing here. I'm just going to go in with the same one. Dip it into the shade Summer and place it into my inner corners just to make the appearance of my eyes seem a little more open and awake. That's literally it. This is like an everyday type of look if you have a ton of errands to run and you just need makeup that'll last all day without budging, this is it right here. And if you guys liked it, let me know. Um, um, it literally usually takes me about 15 minutes to get this done, but because I had to explain everything and do it so that you guys can see step by step, it took a little longer than I thought. But trust me, once you get a certain look down it'll go faster and faster every time you apply it so the more you practice the better you will get and the faster you will get so if you guys liked this everyday tutorial let me know in the comments down below and if you guys recommend any other looks or challenges or you know some fun stuff that I could do on my channel just let me know I'm open to anything and would love to film more things for you guys not just makeup but if you guys need advice on certain stuff you can always ask me, my DMs are always open to you guys, so if you ever need a friend, ever need anything, or just feel alone, I'm here for you guys, and I want you guys to know that, because you guys are here for me, you guys support me, so of course I'm going to support you back, and honestly, thank you so much for watching this, I know I've been lagging on uploading, but I promise I'm going to try, I know I keep saying I promise, but things just come up, it's life, so yeah, um, if you guys like this tutorial, let me know. I'm starting to like lose my breath because I'm talking so fast. But anyway, if you guys like this tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting my channel. I appreciate you and love you so, so much. And I hope you all have a blessed day, a blessed weekend, a blessed year, a blessed month. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.